Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by Timoshenko 5th edition. In this tutorial we will discuss problem set 2.7 and problem number 2.105. A short right circular cylinder of weight W rests in a horizontal V notch having an angle of 2 alpha as shown in the figure 2D. If the coefficient of friction is mu, find the horizontal force P required to cause slipping to impact. That means here it is a V notch as you can see here this is a V notch and this is the V notch and a cylinder is placed here this is the cylinder this is the cylinder the cylinder is placed here so if you look at from this so this is the V notch you can see and the cylinder is placed like this. Now since we are applying a force P in this direction the cylinder will try to move but these two edges there are two contact surfaces clearly you can see this is one contact and this is another contact these two contacts will try to give uh, the force the frictional force in the opposite direction in this direction let n is the normal force and the frictional force will becomes 2 into mu 2 mu n 2 mu n so if you draw the free body diagram for the cylinder you can see the self weight is w and the normal reactions you can find n and n if you transfer all these forces onto separate xy plane clearly we can see w is acting in the downward direction this normal reaction n acts in a direction which makes an angle alpha with the horizontal and this n makes an angle alpha with the horizontal same is represented here so you can resolve these forces along x axis and y axis w is acting downwards so this n becomes n cos alpha we can resolve this one is n cos alpha and this also you can say it is n cos alpha and vertical direction so this is n sin alpha and this force it is n sin alpha so now by applying the equilibrium conditions we can say sigma f y is equal to 0 we can say w is equal to 2n into sin alpha or n is equal to w by 2 sin alpha. These two normal reactions will uh, cancel each other if you consider sigma fx is equal to 0. But in addition to this, there are another two forces acting here. One force P is acting in this direction, the frictional force acts in the opposite direction. Hence, if you consider sigma fx is equal to 0, so P is equal to 2 mu into n. These two forces are gets cancelled to each other. That's why these two forces are not included here. And if you substitute n here, so P is equal to 2 mu in place of n, I am substituting this value W by 2 sin alpha or you can say P is equal to mu W by sin alpha. But we are asked to calculate the value of mu. Hence, you can say mu is equal to P into sin alpha divided by W. 